Hello, wondering where you are? Yes, you are in D-Light Channel, Development, Empowerment and Leadership Initiative. This is an NGO where we are passionate about world transformation, one man at a time, one community at a time. We started a series recently on entrepreneurship made simple. Last week, I did a detour to focus on funding, particularly Indian investor and venture capital funding. That was what I landed last week. Now, this week, I'm going back to my promise I made about four weeks ago, three, four weeks ago, to speak on brand building. And I am deliberate and very passionate about this because most entrepreneurship, like I said, they are more interested in self-employment. It's about that car. It's about being able to go on that vacation. It's about being able to afford that building, being able to pick up your bills. If that is all you're thinking about, you probably have not even given brand building a thought. But wait a minute. Recently, about two, three weeks ago, Apple became the first company, Apple, not, not an oil company, not a manufacturing conglomerate, became the first American company to approach a $1 trillion valuation. And guess what? Over the last couple of years, there has not been any new release of any new solution or product. I think the last thing that they released was the Apple Watch, and I'm not entirely sure how well that is doing. But their service bouquet is expanding and expanding and expanding. And um, one, an one analyst was saying that Apple has now become a luxury, watch it, brand. And that's what we are talking about. That is why Apple can manufacture its phones, public information. Most of those phones are manufactured for about $270. $300, yet the market is willing to pay $700, $800, even $1,000 tops for those devices. Why? Because there has been a deliberate effort by that organization to position itself. How many of you have ever watched Steve Jobs live in his days? You know, when Steve Jobs was alive, product launch were big deals. One of his biographies and his history says that he will go over and over and over and over the presentation time and time again. He was a consummate perfectionist. There were no chances. This Everything must happen at the right time. And he, had, he seemed to have this knack for even knowing what the customers want before the customers even know what they want. And the rest, they say, is history. So for you, if you are interested in becoming an entrepreneur, meaning you really want to build an enterprise, now is the time to start investing in brand building. And when we talk about brand, what does that mean? There are different definitions out there, but for me, the brand or brand is the story of your organization. It's about the totality of how the customer or the market perceives and views your organization. And therefore, it is not just about the ads that you're putting out. It is not just about your nice design of logos and payoff lines and everything. It has to be the consistency between the communication and the customer experience. There must be consistency every time they touch you. I, I mean, when the market was analyzing this Apple story, I got very curious. And you know that every Apple store is a design of intentionality. There is a clear design where the products are, where the service point is, how you get led to the point where you have a new product. It's a deliberate strategy. A lot of psychometric goes into it every single time. That is why the brand is such a very valuable brand. The market knows that it's being shafted, that there is a big margin on those 
devices, yet they are happily... I mean, every time any product is coming, you see the queue very long. You too can build such a brand. So the question is, how do you build your brand? Or what is brand building? From what I've said, therefore, brand building will be the totality of the process that you engage in in creating value for your organization while creating value for your customers. Let me say it again. Brand building is the process of you creating value for your organization through creating values for your customers. Unless the customer perceives value and is willing to buy into that value, your organization cannot expect to get any value. And so, if I situate that in what I've been talking about in the organizational life cycle conversation, what I'm saying is that you have the startup phase, you have the growth phase. In the startup phase, you are struggling to start, you are not sure how the market is going to receive your idea, you are not sure if the market is going to accept it, but you are willing to give it a try, and then you try it, and then based on feedback, based on validation, based on what you've seen, you've managed now to get to the point where you are increasing at an increasing rate. That's what we call the first phase of the growth phase. And therefore, what I'm saying is, if you really want to build an enterprise, it is from this phase, the growth phase, that you get very, very deliberate about building your brand. You cannot leave it to an accidental discharge 15 years into your organization, 50 years into your organization. At that time, it may be too late. If you really want to build a brand, as you are beginning to grow, you are deliberate about ensuring that the customer's perception, their experience, how they interact, how they engage, how they consume the organization. Note what I said. I didn't say the product. How they consume the organization communicates exactly what you say your organization stands for. In case you've forgotten, startup phase is where you define your vision, your mission, your values. Remember our conversation about value, behavior matrix, how that drives your recruitment. It is a consistent cumulative process that gives you the platform for building your brand. Now, how? What are those things you need to be aware of if you really want to build a very exciting and successful brand? Unfortunately, I will not be able to finish it this week and I'm happy that at least I can have a video that can stop before it is 10 minutes. But make it a date next week as I will take you through a few steps that ties what we've been speaking about in terms of the startup and the growth phase that you can take to get going in building a brand that will allow you charge a premium the same way Apple is able to do in the market. I am certain you don't want to miss it that. I am sure you know somebody who needs to know this and you'll be doing somebody a favor by sharing it. Also, go online, show us some love. Let's know you are there. We are always happy to read from you. And until I come around next week, to talk about the steps to building brand, please don't ever forget that TMAC is still my name and all I'm trying to do is what? Make a little difference. Thanks for being here this week and catch you next week. Ciao!